This is the Man Stop It Podcast. Man Stop It. I just want to give y'all a story about my son, Scrap. And, you know, his brother broke. He was with him. You know, we was all together. You know. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, I just want to, you know, share this little story about Scrap. Yeah. He was, uh, fresh out. He was out to, uh, just got out of jail. Juvenile Detention Center for that little uh, Steve body. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I want to share a little something with everybody, you know, about that story about we was on uh, 61st and Evans at my cousin's crib waiting on Duck and them to come, you know, come back. And uh, we uh, we were sitting on the porch. It was like it was at night time. It's probably about seven, seven something like that, eight. I don't know, but we shouldn't have never been over there on that porch anyway. You know what I'm saying? In that area, because there's a lot going on over there. You know, on 61st and Evans. You know what I'm saying? But uh. We was over there waiting around. He wanted to see, you know, Duck and them. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So uh, we slid over there, you know. Me scrapping my son, Brokey. You know what I'm saying? We bent over there. You know, we was sitting on the porch one no It was a lot going on that night, though. It was a lot going on over there that night. It was some type of all kind of shit going on, you know what I'm saying, you know, fighting and all kind of shit through there, it was something going on, but we just went and sat on the porch, you know what I'm saying, so we just was sitting on the porch, you know, and uh, waiting on Duck and them to get back, wasn't nobody there, so we sitting over there on the porch, me and Scrap sitting on one side, and my son Brokey sitting on the other side, so shit, we had to be sitting out there probably for like, 45 minutes to an hour just sitting there talking, you know what I'm saying? My son, Scrap, just came home not too long ago. He, he you know, was probably home for probably like a few days. But, you know, he wanted to slid, slide on his favorite cousins, you feel me? Lachey, Duck, Brick, you know, I don't think Brick was out, though. But he wanted to go, you know, that's where he always run to, Shana Crib, you feel me? So... We sitting over there on the porch, you know what I'm saying? So we waiting on, like I say, we waiting on them to put up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Thank God, you know, shit really ain't go real bad, you feel me? But, uh, so we just sitting there talking, just kicking it, you know, just kicking it, waiting on everybody, you know, waiting on them to come to the crib. And, uh, uh, Next thing you know, we see uh, Lil' J and Butter walking up the street. Lil' J and Butter coming up. So, you know, I'm just sitting there. We sitting there on the porch. I see them coming up because it's the next porch over the house, the crib that Butter and Lil' J walked in. They walked in the next crib next to Mama Duck crib, the Shanna crib. You know what I'm saying? So they went next door. Before they came over there, so they, 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 they walk, you know what I'm saying, they walking up, you know, we see them and shit, the, the crib's like right exactly next door, so we're like, what up, you know, what up, what up, so they go in the, in the crib, it's, that crib next door, that's where the Stones used to be at, you know what I'm saying, Stones used to be in there, it was something to everything around there, so, they go next door. 
So we just sitting out there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it had to be in there probably for like five or six minutes. You know what I'm saying? They was in there. I don't know what they what they had going on, but it was a lot going on that night. Like all you heard was police sirens and you know what I'm saying? All kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? We heard shots and everything just sitting out there. Like it's crazy over in that, in that area. So um, they went next door. Shit, they ain't come out to like by like say five six minutes later. They come out. You know what I'm saying? So they come out when they come out. They coming down the stairs. As they coming down the stairs, it's like five, six niggas coming out behind them. Now, Buddy and Lil J coming out, they went in eating and shit, right? So now, they walking out. They was in there for a few minutes. So now they coming up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So as they coming up out of there, them niggas coming behind them. You know what I'm saying? Them bitches, all kind of shit. You feel me? They like, you bitch ass nigga, you bitch ass, you nigga. You know what I'm saying? Bitch ass, whole ass, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about walking right behind them, right in their ear, calling them out. So I'm damn. So Bud and them, and Lil J walked, Shana Gate right there, porch right there. So they come down, they literally turn, you know, right into Shana Gate. They coming in, now they coming into Shana in and her shit. You feel me? So as they walking up, they walking past us. Lil J and them walking past us at this time. Him and Butter, they walking past us. So, as they walking past us, them stones, it was one short, little, 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 little chubby little nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I already had a lot of juice right there, you know what I'm saying? So, they walking up behind them, calling them all kind of bitches, and these niggas literally kept walking, you know what I'm saying? So, I put my arm right there to, like, like stop them. Like, man, where y'all going, bro? So as soon as I put my arm right there, the little short chubby motherfucker, he grabbed my arm and like, you know how you would push a nigga out the way? He pushed my arm. He like, move my arm. What'd he do that for? As soon as he did that, my son Scrap standing on the side of me. He stood right up. Bing! Hit him. Gave him some. You know what I'm saying? Gave him. Hit him. You know what I'm saying? He won number 15 at the time. He just got out the juvie. You know what I'm saying? For that body. So as soon as that nigga touched my arm, my son jumped up and, and and tried to knock his head off. You know what I'm saying? And then when he did that, my son broke, he jumped up. Bing, bing. Got the, you know what I'm saying? Now, now they fighting. So I grabbed my son Scrap. You know, he ain't number 15. I grabbed him. I'm trying to throw him up the stairs through the hallway. Now we going in. You know what I'm saying? So I'm throwing him upstairs. And we getting in. They they hitting me all on top, back of my head and everything. I'm getting hit. Boom, boom. They you know, I feel him. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I ate that shit. That ain't nothing. But I'm shielding my son. You know what I'm saying? So, Brian still trying to get at these niggas. He's still trying to, you know, throw me off of him so he can fight these niggas. So, now my son, Brokey, he fighting these niggas in the hallway. It's a little bitty ass hallway. So, Brokey really fighting these niggas. Fighting them in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? So, as he fighting them, I'm like, man, go grab pole. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, I holla up. To Lil J and them, they gone. So my son Brokey fighting when I said that. Them niggas take off. My son Brokey come from up under there. He fighting all them niggas by himself. He was hiding them niggas son. Brokey was hiding them niggas son. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they got out, they did what they did. But yeah, he was getting them niggas the business. So when I turned around, he coming up now. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, bitch ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? So now we go upstairs, man. We get upstairs. I ain't gonna even lie. Lil J and Butter, they wasn't even in the crib, man. They ran upstairs, through the front, and went out the back door. They left us down there to fight these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was y'all stuff y'all had going on, but y'all go over there, start some shit, whatever y'all did. Them niggas was pissed off at y'all because they came behind y'all like they wanted to hurt y'all. But wind it up, Scrap, my son Brokey, was fighting them niggas because the nigga touched my arm. You know what I'm saying? And it was, that, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the stories I got to tell 
But I, I, I you know, we got up out of there. We went upstairs, wasn't nobody in the crib. You know, if Buckingham was in there, it would have been on, you feel me? But they weren't there, they was gone. But I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Got to that, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fuck with Lil' J.L. Butter, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I still got love for him, but that just showed me what type of niggas y'all really is. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't had them pipes. Y'all couldn't fight that shit out. You feel me? My son broke in. My son scrap. Got down. So that's the story I wanted to tell. You know what I'm saying? Man, stop it.